everyone analytics sage so in continuation in my series on book reviews <coughs> today i'm going through this book visual guide to elliott wave trading published by bloomberg and if you just look at the names you can expect that this has to be a serious book to consider and study so when i bought this book i bought it for learning purposes learning elliott wave and uh, I had no idea what are the details about. I was very impressed by the author's name, the publisher and the title of this book. I purchased, I purchased this book and this was a shock to me uh, in a positive way. And this book changed my attitude to trading. So when I first finished reading this book, I actually I went through this book very in details. Uh, as you can see, I have lots of writings on the side on all the pages and I have been through like line by line and sentence by sentence of this one. This book is actually about personal trade setups of these two gentlemen and it has nothing to do with teaching Elliot Wave to you. So if you have no idea on Wave principle, I highly recommend you to avoid it. Go and read and make sure you master the principles and you have some experience on trading. Then use this one. This book is all about trade setups and these are their personal experiences. So the title must be misleading. Could be, in my opinion, visual guide to trade setups using wave principle. Could be a, a better title for that. Uh, if I want to summarize this book, there are three sentences I like the most from this book. And it took me a year actually to understand these three sentences because sometimes when you read something, especially in trading, you have to experience that. You have to put money, you have to lose money. Then you will remember that simple sentence from the book and yet yeah, that was correct and that was what I had to follow. So the book goes for, through different uh, structures, for example, a zigzag and a flat setup using wave principle. He goes through triangles, he goes through different and different uh, structures. The first chapter of this book is all about trade setups. For example, if you have a flat, where should be your entry, where should be your stop loss? And if you follow my videos, I'm exactly copying the strategy I have learned in this book for kind of my analysis and my trade setup so this is the reference if anyone wants to know how I set up my trades and where I put my orders you have to read the first chapter of this one uh, my recommendation and advice is that because he gives you the ticker and you can see the time and he explains how he goes through the trade so for example I start with an example I think he has an example on Australian dollar, okay? So what I did, this is 2008 March, okay? So this is how actually I read the book. So you open your trading view, open your trading view, okay? Go to the Australian dollar, auto feed, okay? Then play the barter play, go to, let's go to weekly because it's easier to find and go to the 2008 and we go around april feb let's go here then i zoom in and then i go to the daily chart i try to go into the exact the same date for example march 24 2008 jan feb march so let's go to feb okay i need to go forward a little bit feb march okay that has to be here okay so let's get to here and then you have the book in front of you as well okay the same shape now we have it on trading view then try to replicate what he has done step by step okay step by step to understand how he goes through the trade and how he goes through the trade setup i did that for every single ticker that i had access to in this book let me show this again for every single ticker I have been through that process and you have to do it a couple of times to understand it. So there is no point in just reading this. You have to go through and practice that one. So it explains different structures. But as I mentioned, there were a couple of sentences that uh, and a couple of things that changed my attitude to trading. I always remember my expectation of an analyst was someone that can predict every movement in the wave. And 
my way to judge people on how good they are in technical analysis was to for example test them for example the guy could say the market could go up i will follow if it was correct then i would say he's a good analyst if not then he was not or sometimes people send me personally lots of tickers and they want my opinion sometimes i understand they want to test me and see if and they're going to use that to check in future if my prediction was right or wrong read this book it will change your attitude you expect from someone like jeffrey kennedy that he's able to trade every single wave on s p 500 or any other market and he's gonna predict all of them and he's making so much money i don't want to say this is wrong but the structure he's trading in this book are so simple are so simple that when i read the book for the first time i was like i don't really need an elliot wave even to trade for example such a structure it is so obvious and i was expecting and hoping that some point in this book he's gonna trade the c wave of an x wave of a, for example very complex correction something complex but to be honest all of them are super simple even if you don't know wave principle for example for a triangle or for an ending diagonal and i was like why someone like jeffrey kennedy goes for the simplest possible structure he has a sentence in this book and trust me if you really apply that sentence to your trading it will change your trading career he says look at the chart if you don't recognize the structure move to the next one i tried to find the sentence in this book but because i read that couple of years ago i couldn't find exactly where it was so what i personally do i look at the chart for five seconds if it looks good to me i will spend time on it if not then forget it there is also another sentence i think it was page 135 that he says oh yeah this was one of, this was one of the trades so they put a trade and they take profit at the target they had okay the market continues to go much lower so they could have made more profit but here he says clearly people would be upset about missing that extra gain okay when a minimum target is reached it's usually best to uh, take your profit and i have i remember from my own experience and other people's that people want to trade a to z and they don't want to miss a single penny what i noticed about him and he has another sentence in the book that i couldn't find that he takes profit and he said that i took my money now it is interesting to see from the academic point of view what will happen in future so he is separating money making with market analysis in terms of academic okay yeah from the academic point of view it's very interesting to go through all these waves and see why it is wave three what will happen in future but when it comes to money making he goes for super simple structures this is what i've learned from this book so if there was one thing that from out of this let me see 262 page uh, one thing i want to mention that i learned is that go for the simplest possible structures when it comes to risking your money okay if you want to analyze a market and test your technical knowledge do that but don't risk your money risk only if the structure is super simple and this is what you see clearly on all their personal trade setups and there was another sentence i have put mark 6166 uh yeah and when he goes to the concept of indicators because he goes through wave principle and then he tries to add other indicators so he clearly mentions like trade it when all the indicators agree with your wave principle so at first you do a wave principle a wave analysis then you turn on your technical indicators which could be rsi i think he goes through different one he goes through rsi he goes through macd he goes through candlestick analysis and when all of them agree then he was putting an order 
and at the end of this book for example it's another market for soya bin he goes to is there is a cheat sheet for elliot wave okay but he talks about fibonacci relationships about wave principle so you can have a cheat sheet if you want to refer to and then he finishes the book so in my opinion uh, this is an essential book to read and practice you possibly end up spending three four months maybe on this book especially if you want to back test all the examples that you have to because you have to move the ticker and then do your own trading and then come back to the book compare what he did with what you did then you can learn it i highly recommend this and pay attention to some of the things he mentions and how simple the structures he chooses for trading i remember when i started trading one of my goals to beat the market and to prove myself that yeah i'm a good analyst i can trade every single wave but after reading this book actually took me a year to believe in what he said that go for the structures that are simple and very clear to understand if you have a doubt don't risk your money uh, i don't think there is much i can tell about this and buy it read it it will pay off in future thanks for watching and have a good day